He works hard. He doesn't have no problem taking direction. This is the same reason God chose him. He's seen a man that was pure. Even the people in this community. Now you ask yourself, if you say you follow Muhammad, probably we're going to be like him. Then what do the people think of you in your community? Did the people trust you when they go? All their property. They left to go for war. They didn't know they was coming back. So they said, Yah Rasulullah. Or Yah Muhammad, oh Muhammad. We know you from a noble tribe. Take care of our stuff. For we don't return. But when he came to them and said, Nah, I ain't the law. Muhammad Yah Rasulullah said, oh, No, 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 no. We can't take this here. So how many of us can go out here? If we say we follow the same way and we have the Quran in his home and have that same type of thinking and that same type of honor, then surely we have missed something. We should be the leaders in the land because it all started from us. Something is missing. Something is a missing. Yet we fight over the ayah of the Quran. When clearly there's more than one understanding of it. Clearly it said, Lord God, so when we please, right? So ISIS must be reading some wrong Quran. I seen a video. They killed this young lady. She and she was back in the Quran, back and forth, back and forth. They shot in the head. She had on red. And they said it was unlawful for a woman to wear red. They videotaped this here. This is the deception. And we have people like us sit around and don't say a thing. Don't get involved till it comes to your doorstep. I had somebody when I came out here a few years ago, I was like, well, you know, I'm visiting. You know, sometimes you welcome a brother to come in. You know, I've been here. I don't know my age. I'm 55 years old, so I thought things were changed. Brother, we don't know if you know the Quran. What you know? Send us a copy and cook while you're here. I said, really? You know, I mean, I'm thinking about the terror of the problem. I said, leave that man alone. He didn't recite uh, some of the Quran correctly. They complained about all he said, it was all the time. What did they say? This was one third of the Quran, right? So the thing is, we get too caught up. If you remember, the Quran was to complete in his whole in the time of the right? He got a little piece of that time. You would have a man who would take one line. He would take life, he would take land, he would take out, and he would study it until he could understand something better about it. And we get up here and go like parakeets and so on, and then jump from one step to the next. Oh, yeah, the I would say so. You know, in gambling and wine and alcohol, there's some good. But we miss the back line and said the benefit is worse than the harm, worse than the benefit. Then we missed the IOM and said, just cut it off. So, which one do you want of the crowd? You know, people saying they're not, they ask, oh, brother, you know, you're you crazy. You want to vote for the lesser of two evils? Go back one of the crowd talking about lesser of two evils. Really? Well, here is a lesser of two evils. I said, you, you know this for sure? Did you ask a lot of guys to in his mouth? You saw what the commercial said. Well, the commercials that they lie on TV. That they will place you where they want to place you at. Turn you around. Tell you this one day, tell you that the next day. Where's your faith at? Talk a lot. Trust in your Lord. Trust in God first. I don't want to go past the time. I don't know how long it will be. We have almost a half an hour, so I try to go to Cuba. Talk should be short. And the press should be long. You have people, they won't come to this um, African American community. Some from the book. That brother didn't speak in America. He spoke to me with English. He stayed up too long. He tried to rob me. I'm like, some of y'all need to be people. Some of you need the old nation this long, because y'all don't understand. Get them papers and go settle. We release the chains and the yokes over you. And let you go your way. And then you lay down on the job. I'm here out there. When I see y'all, I go look at me like I'm pointing fingers because they all refer back to me. Like I said, if one finger out, the rest of them back in me, right? So I'm talking to myself. The good part just supposed to be is for you. I'm not saying I'm being like I'm somebody special or nothing to you. What I'm saying is this is our, our day to re 
remember. But we Muslim 24 7, 365. It has nothing to do with any day. Yeah, we know it say Friday is one of the best days on this earth. The day of Yom Kippur. The day of Adam, Malay Salah to Salah was created, right? If you say you leave this earth, return to Allah on Friday is the best. One of my dear emails, uh, you know, even in Fatsha, passed away on a Friday a couple weeks ago. I said, you know, 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 you but it says, say this in a time of calamity and death. And some people are still saying that now. Whatever well, the name of that, Trump, what they want to call him. The Trump card, you heard that? Who beats the Trump? You can't even elect, president elect. But still say, ain't that the language, ain't that the language right now? Alhamdulillah, subhanAllah, and Allah Akbar. Allah. Allah is bigger, Allah is greater. We get caught up. The shaitan has a, we have allowed the shaitan to rule our life. We look at our falouche, our money, in the bank. Ah! Oh, son of love, we used to make this money, you know, stop stock market, you big other father, but you didn't support him. He for real. You know, you know, the gave me my fair share. I told you, you know, my age, you're not the president of just the black people, that's what I call some of my African American people. He's not just your president, you ain't going to go to the world, but aren't you, man? So how can he just do for you? And if you get in office and just do for you and your people, then you're just as wrong as anybody else. Now what you need to do is hold these people accountable. You know, they said the Sharia cannot rule in the land. Not the interpretation of the Sharia or something people try to push. The thick, the laws of Islam cannot rule in the land. Not the laws that they're trying to push. You got Muslim men still telling their women they don't need to drive. Your place is at home. You cannot work. You don't need to be educated. Islam came to liberate the women, not to oppress them. Oppressing is worse than death, right? This is what you say, we understand and accept in this way of life. Inshallah, be far from further. We'll show you all. She's 81 years old, but she's a fighter because 
He has the nature. Mother Nature, I remember Ibn Muhammad talking about Mother Nature, the earth. We come from and we return to the earth, right? So the nature that pushes us up like it does a seed when you bury it in the ground. You can't start with a seed on top of the ground, you don't get no growth, right? You have to plant it under the earth, right? Then the earth spits it up. Same thing with a human being. Even when you return to God, God says, you always live. People wonder about that. Oh, you believe in reincarnation. I believe that the soul, the spirit, never goes. Allah says to us, every soul should have a taste of love of death. But we understand that Allah is our hayyuk, we have a living, and he's our mouth, the author of death. So he says, I bring death out of life, and life out of death. Right? That's what he says. So understand, we all come from death first before life. When you was in that womb, was you alive? Not to the world, you don't come out that chain and take that first breath. The same breath God said you get back to the when you got. You ever seen a person who got the last thing they come out and say, like, oh, and they give it back and say, oh, come, come in. Allah is Akbar. And you can say it, Tabir. I mean, we're not dead or nothing here, are we? You know, that's what we say, Tabir. Oh, well, I can't say nothing in the coupon. Brother, you say how you the law. The reason why the time of Prophet Muhammad said that they, they, they did not want anything said because people would be back there saying stuff out of the way to him. Stop the skip off. Do you know he stepped away from the pulpit? This grandson was crying and running around. He went and picked him up and brought him up. When he was in prayer and such Jew, they clamped on his head and his back. Do you know he didn't ever come up until they got off? Sometimes he stayed in so light that his feet became swollen. How many of us had that patience? To say me like, you know, no, you little bread kid. Messing up my prayer with God. Oh, I'm in prayer. Go so light. Oh, that's for me. I see people, they cross in front of people. Okay, people. Each other try to touch. Oh, that's what. You think that line represents anything other than to keep you straight? So we misconfuse the symbolic meanings. We take them and we use those further than the real understanding of the day. We call out in the rituals. This is what I like about the language of email on it. Most of us come here on the ritual and say we don't know our game. Because we call up in the ritual. We want the ritual stuff. We don't know the real essence of Islam. He said, if you don't want to give me freedom, just as if I'm going to this around so well, I'll stand on that today, too. This is what it's based on. You come here, and you expect the lights to be on. You need to go back to church, so you get your 10% tithes. They check your tax returns. This was said that you're not paid for nothing, huh? But because we don't tell you you gotta give up that two hundred dollars or whatever to the number two poor treasury fund, you refuse to go by that bucket and drop something in. What's wrong with you, man? Stop changing the bucket. You think these lights come on on their own? Now y'all might not like it. You know what I'm busy. So what? But I done sat here and listened to my email and I saw my good email right there. Mustafa. Email number Dean that just came in. How do you think they're going to survive in this community to survive when we don't support it? You want to come here and get the language, sit in the AC with a silly thing alone, and walk out of here and expect the bill to be paid. You think a law will provide, and that means a law will provide for people. Now, I beg of you, the law will not provide for that. He said, go and get up your, the world. You work and you pray. 